Good morning folks, welcome to the first video of the year and this is also my first trip of the year. Today I will be going to Eisenstadt. It is uh, in Austria, but it is like a capital city of one of the federal states of Austria. So Austria is a federation with nine federal states and uh, Eisenstadt is the capital of a state called Burgenland and today we will be going there. I want to see the Esterhazy Palace and they also have some beautiful churches that I would like to visit and just, you know, uh, go and see the city. I have enough time. I'm not gonna go uh, there too early because the palace opens at 10 and I have enough time to get ready, drink my coffee, have breakfast and then uh, head to the train station. Hey, I have arrived. It seems like a very quiet place because there is literally no one out in the streets. Our first destination is the Esterhazy Palace and I'm going there right now. I need about 20 minutes. is my ticket and with the ticket you also get a little map and like an information guide this is the courtyard on the ground floor there is the Hyden Hall but first we will go to the first floor and I'm gonna show you that and then we're gonna go back to the ground floor On the first floor, there is an exhibition, Melinda Esterhazy. She was a ballet dancer who married Paul Esterhazy and he was a Hungarian nobleman. You get to learn more about her, about her career and about her life with Paul Esterhazy. From the moment they met, through the time her husband was sentenced to 15 years in prison, how they fled to Austria, later they moved to Switzerland until Paul's death, she later moved back to Eisenstadt and that is where she died. This is definitely one of the highlights of this palace, the concert hall. It is called the Haydn Hall. The next thing that had me mesmerized was this Venetian console table with this beautiful clock. One clock on the table and the other one on the wall.
As you walk from one room to another, you get to see exhibited porcelain service, chinoiserie, and family silver. There are a lot of these beautiful huge mirrors everywhere throughout the palace. I think I took a photo of myself in each mirror. Hello vanity! getting to the apartment of the princesses there are some rooms that you can see and this is probably the most beautiful part of the palace these rooms are exceptionally beautiful but there are also some rooms that you are able to visit only on a tour so that is something to keep in mind When I was done with the first floor, I went down to the ground floor to see the Hayden Hall. When you get into the Hayden Hall, the thing that you just cannot ignore is the colorful and authentic wallpapers. Joseph Haydn was an Austrian composer of the classical period and he was also a court musician for the Esterhazy family. In this part of the palace you'll get to learn more about his work, you'll get to see some of his musical notation, there are paintings, there is some furniture too and a few instruments. The third part of the palace is the basement or the wine museum. This wine museum is considered to be the largest wine museum in Austria. You get to see a lot of objects and equipment used in winemaking. This is actually the first wine cellar that I've ever been to, so I found this very fascinating. Especially these huge, huge wine barrels.
and my visit to the palace comes to an end. They also have a boutique shop where you can buy wine and all kinds of souvenirs. We are here at the church, you can see it behind me. It is about 500 meters away from the palace, so it's really close. Anyway, it looks really pretty. I can wait to go in and see it. This church is called Haydn Church, or in German, Haydn Kirche. It is also known as Bergkirche, which means a mountain church. When you climb the stairs, you will see a part of the church which seems more like a little chapel but if you go around you will find the actual entrance to the church this church was planned by Paul Esterhazy but unfortunately he died before the church was finished This beautiful organ was installed in 1797, it was rebuilt in 1950 and then restored in 1993. After seeing this church, I went back to the palace and went for a walk through the city streets. The next thing on my list is the St. Martin's Cathedral. This church was first mentioned as a chapel, but over the years, actually centuries, it was expanded and it became St. Martin's Cathedral. It was built in late Gothic style. We have another beautiful organ here. It was built in 1778 by Johann Gottfried Malek and he built the organ in Bergkirche as well. Behind the cathedral there is a fortification that was built to reinforce the Eisenstadt city walls and these walls ran around the historic city center and that is actually how the city got its name. Eisen means iron and Stadt means city, so it's like a city fortified like iron. In Eisenstadt you can also see the house where Haydn lived, but unfortunately it is temporarily closed. He lived in this house with his wife, but later he moved to the Esterhazy castle and he sold this house in 1778. While I was there, I also wanted to see the palace park. The easiest way to get there is that if you're standing at the Haydn house and you go towards the Franciscan church, there is this little passage that when you go through uh, the passage, you will get to the park. This park has two ponds, it has an orangery that is available for renting and there is also this beautiful Lepaldini temple that is overlooking the second pond. After 
after the walk in the park, it was time to go home. I'm ready to talk about the, today's trip. Um, now, this is a, a little map you get when you buy your ticket. And this is what it looks like. And uh, you have the ground floor, the first floor and the basement. That is what you can see without the guide. Now there are some rooms where you can go in, but only if you're uh, on a guided tour. Uh, that's something that it's important to mention, but like they tell you everything uh, while when you get there to buy a ticket. So they ask you if you want a guided tour and so on. And they're like really kind uh, and helpful with information. And that is it. Uh, there are also some other um, tips. I didn't even read it, to be honest. But anyway, uh, they also have a little gift shop that you saw in the video in the beginning, I think. And that is the only thing I regret because I didn't buy uh, any souvenirs. And I think I should have now that I think back. Like they had uh, these like little notebooks, but the covers are something that is, you know, related with the palace. And I wish I bought one of those little notebooks, but for some reason I just didn't. Other than that, I had a lot of fun. Uh, the city is really beautiful. There are a lot of things uh, that you can see there. Just, it's a shame that Haydn House was closed. I wish I could see that too, maybe someday I will go back and uh, check that out because it's kind of like if you're there, I recommend seeing it because I'm sure that it's really cool. I hope you enjoyed this video, I really loved uh, the palace so much. I remember going from one room to another and I was thinking like, oh my god, this one's my favorite. And as I was going into the next one, I was like, oh no, wait, this one is my favorite. It's just like the rooms are really pretty. There is a Esterhazy palace. I'm so weird with the accents because I don't know whether to use Hungarian or English. It's a mess. Uh, but the Esterhazy uh, palace in Hungary, it is in a like city or a little town that's called Fertud. And I haven't been there yet, but I also plan to go there this year, maybe somewhere in spring or summer. And I definitely want to check that out as well. And yes, that is it. I'm gonna go and heal myself with some tea and I also have to eat something. And I'm probably gonna... I'm definitely gonna go through the photos again. I took a lot of photos and I want to send some to my family. And then I'm just gonna go to bed because I'm really, really exhausted. So see you next time. Bye.